Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today we're gonna go through all of the K. Ali perfumes that I have in my collections. The ones that I have and the ones that I had or I tested and I'm just gonna let you know which one is good, which one is not the best and obviously which one you should buy. So before we start, if you like this video, don't forget to the big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and now let's jump in. I did a very similar video for Initio, I'm gonna leave it in the description box um, if you wanna check that one out. I talked about most of the Initio perfumes because I have quite a lot and another niche company that I absolutely love is Keali. The price point is amazing. Um, I really like the perfumes, I think they have like good lasting power, I think they have good sillage, most of them. Um, the scent are very, very like, not necessarily unique but like, like very good that good sense okay i would say it's a, exactly in between like designer and niche where it's not as mainstream as designers um but it's not necessarily like as complex as niche and that can be a good a good thing because niche sometimes can be a bit too much for some people so for me kl is exactly in the middle like the scent profile is exactly in the middle i've tested all of them besides the citrus one so i cannot really talk about that one and i'm gonna say that's really my least favorite because yeah my least favorite but it's not a bad scent is the mask one i don't have it anymore i had it it's a very nice clean mask normally absolutely hate masking perfumes i like that one i i genuinely like that one it's not something that would wear so that's why i didn't keep the bottle um but it's a very nice scent the next one is the apple one Juicy Apple, that's the name, I think that's the name, um, I had that one, I really liked it when I first got it, but then I realized, hmm, I have not necessarily similar, but I have other fruity perfumes that maybe I like a bit better, uh, that one is obviously apple, but then you're getting berries as well, um, I would say mostly in the opening you're getting like a blast of berries, uh, very sweet berries, I really liked it, and then in the dry down you're getting more of that apple, really liked it, but again, that one I would say feels a bit more designer. Another one that I've tested, I never had it but actually tested, um, is, what's the name? Utopia, Utopia, I keep forgetting names. Um, Utopia, I, re I really liked it, it's a coconut scent, it's a summer tropical coconut, for me it didn't have a Santa lotion because that's something that I absolutely hate in perfumes, I don't like Santa lotion in perfumes, I like that one, I have other b better coconuts, that's the thing, if you don't have other coconuts or maybe you never have found your favorite coconut scent, go try it out because it's a very nice scent and again it doesn't have that sand and lotion vibe now with the ones that I have i have just 10 ml this is one thing that i really like about kiali they're doing 10 ml 50 and then 100 i wish i wish they were doing 30 because i would i would buy like 30 million all of them right now i bought just 10 ml because i don't need 50 ml okay if it was like for me, I would buy 30 ml in every single fragrance that I have because I don't need more than that. Um, maybe I'm gonna buy the 50 ml. I know because I'm the type of person that likes to have everything like the same size. So if I buy one 50 ml, then I'll have to buy all of them, and I don't really want all of them the 50 ml anyway. I'm just like rumbling. The one that I have, and again, not like my least, but still, it's a very good one. Elixir, um, yeah, Elixir from Keali. I do really like it. I do really like it, but I need to be in the mood for this one. Elixir is rose, patchouli, and then red apple. You are definitely getting the red apple in this one. It's a very unique scent, okay? It's a very unique scent. And it smells more like niche. Or designer's private collection it's a nighttime scent it's a fall winter you need to like some patchouli because you're definitely getting the patchouli in this one it's not dirty okay it's not a dirty patchouli but you're definitely getting it in this fragrance but it's i would say it's well balanced the rose the the apple and then the patchouli they're all well balanced it's not a note that is more prominent than the other one 
very nice, very good. Uh, it's not just nice, it's like sexy, you know, it's like alluring. It's good for um, the evening, for colder weather. I don't really like it. I don't really wear it that much. I don't think you can see. I'm like here. Um, I don't wear it that much just because I need to be in the mood for this scent. And for me, it's like definitely a nighttime scent. But it's a very good one. So, um, Elixir from Kiali. The next one we have. Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper really reminds me of Nina Ricci. Again, I forgot the name. I'm going to just like insert the picture in here. But this one is way better in my opinion. I had that scent and it was a bit scratchy. It wasn't sweet enough. This one is way, 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 way sweeter. You're getting this one, definitely um, the pink pepper. You're getting rose. You're getting some saffron. It's not listed. It's not listed, but I'm getting like an undertone like of wood. Nothing too crazy, nothing animalic, nothing like that, but um, like the undertone, it has something oriental, it has like some wood in there. People are comparing this one to, um, what is it, Oud Bouquet from Lancome? No. It's similar for me to Nina Ricci, but not necessarily to Oud Bouquet. Yes, it has that rose wood combination, even though, again, it doesn't have wood no, um, listed. It's a very nice one. Again, winter fall winter mostly winter but i do really like it and like it has gulasi power in me i cannot complain um i really really like this and like if you are into those more like oriental scents you're definitely gonna like this one it's nothing too crazy it's very sweet <sighs> is this one maybe i should put this one like the next one in the top I know, I really like all of them, like the ones I have right now, because like I said, I've tested everything be, uh, besides uh, citrus, I've tested all of the other ones, I really, really like, I genuinely really like all of them. And I love the fact that the 10 ml looks exactly like the bigger bottle, you are, you are getting a sprayer, I really, really like that one, uh, that um, detail, because some companies are doing like a dabber or like a roll, I don't like those things, I don't like dabbers, I don't like oils, I, no. You need to give me a spray, okay? So I can spray myself all over. Anyway, sweet lemon pink pepper, if you like, um, not spicy, but like peppery oriental rose, this one is definitely for you. Next one. Vanilla. Vanilla 28. It's such a plain scent, but still such a good one. Vanilla 28. Do I like pink pepper more? I'm not sure. No, I'm gonna put vanilla 28 where it is, okay? Because this is the perfect vanilla for any occasion. Um, it's basically vanilla and brown sugar, like Madagascar vanilla, that type of vanilla. It's just good for every day, going out. Um, maybe not summer, but spring, fall, winter, daytime, nighttime, really depends how much you spray on. It's just a good vanilla. Basic vanilla, but very good one. Because sometimes with vanilla, yeah, you can't go wrong with vanilla, yes, but some vanillas are just maybe too sweet or some vanillas are green or, I don't know, it's something about them. With this one, it's just vanilla and brown sugar. That's it. Amazing for layering. Like if you want to amplify the vanilla in another perfume, just spray this one on top and it's definitely going to do that. But also on its own, on, on its own, it's a very nice vanilla. So yeah, um, you can't go wrong with this one. Vanilla twenty eight again, obviously from Kiali. Next one we have Deja Vu White Flower fifty seven. Now you need to like white flowers, okay? If you don't like them, then that one, this one is not for you. Deja Vu. Oh, I love white flowers. I do believe this one has like every single one of them. It definitely has orange blossom because I can smell it. I think it has jasmine, might have tuberose, might have some gardenia. I didn't look up for the notes. Normally, I hate gardenia. I think it's in this scent. I think. But I do really like it. It's basically, it's this very sweet um, white floral scent. If you think about, let's say, um, I'm not sure if you can see it, uh, Granada from Memo Paris. That one, it's a very, very sweet orange blossom scent. 
almost like honeyed orange blossom but it has also like a green like a floral undertone and deja vu has the same vibe without the green it's like very sweet um white flowers it's not just orange blossom it's like the mix of everything the mix of jasmine with orange blossom and so on but it's very sweet and it definitely works in um the hot weather i'm packing this one with me all the time when i'm going on holiday in the heat it really lasts i've never tested it in the colder weather because i'm not gonna wear this one in the colder weather i have other scents um but yeah it doesn't like a word that much i would say this one like lasts better than vanilla i would say vanilla is like the least lasting one and um, but with all of the other ones i didn't really have a problem again if you want if you like white flowers check this one out some people are saying it's a bit mature that's because they maybe don't like white flowers i don't know orange blossom can be a bit mature not gonna like uh tuberose can be a bit mature for me this one is not it's just elegant it is elegant it's very feminine it's a bit flirty because it's sweet but it's a very nice one like I, I genuinely really really like it especially for holiday so deja vu white um flower and the last one and my favorite one this is my second bottle i didn't use the first one for like the longest time and then just like one week just used um the scent every single day invite only amber 23 in the colder weather, I'm telling you, this thing is absolutely amazing. Oh. It has honey, it has cherry, it has tobacco, it has obviously amber, it has, it has some uh, dark chocolate. It's so good. It's just so good. It's that like wintry, oh, wintry, gourmand, boozy. Does it have any like, it kind of smells like it has like, I don't know, some cognac. I'm not sure. I didn't look for the notes like right now. I just, from the memory, you know, I remember them. Might have some cognac or something like that or some rum. It's very good. It's not too sweet. It's not too boozy. It's not too, I don't know, smoky or spicy or anything like that. It's not um, too gourmand. It's just like the perfect balance if you're looking for a spicy, dark, slightly gourmand scent again for the fall and winter this one again it's not for me it's not for me in this period of time it's not for me for spring almost summer i like to wear my perfumes um according to the season but this one ah, it's just it's just a bit it's ah it's almost like delicious but again it's not a true gourmand um doesn't really have the best lasting power though this one and the vanilla, not the best lasting power. The other ones, the other three that I have in here, no problem whatsoever. This one, you kind of need to overspray, but it's such, such a good scent. So the last one that we have in here is Invite Only Amber 23. And that was it for today, guys. That was it. Please let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite Kiali scent. If you like Kiali, um, I don't know, which one is your favorite? Like, should I try citrus? Because... I already have lots of uh, freshies, but is that, is that one like that special that I really have to try? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, that was it for today. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And like always, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.